Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson and I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. In our previous science lesson, you have learned that carbohydrates are important in providing instant energy for our cells. There is another form of biomolecules called lipids that its main function is to store energy to. Let's learn more about the importance and function of lipids in today's lesson. Lesson 5, Biomolecules, Lipids, Part 2 Lipids are biomolecules that contain hydrocarbons and make up the building blocks of the structure and function of living cells. Examples of lipids include fats, oils, waxes, certain vitamins such as A, D, E, and K, hormones and cell membrane that is not made up of protein. Lipids include a diverse group of compounds that are largely nonpolar in nature. This is because they are hydrocarbons that include mostly nonpolar carbon to carbon or carbon hydrogen bonds. Nonpolar molecules are hydrophobic or water fearing or insoluble in water. Major types of lipids Major types of lipids include fats and oils waxes, phospholipids, and steroids. Let us learn each type of lipids. Fats and oils. A fat molecule consists of two main components, glycerol and fatty acids. Glycerol is an organic compound with three carbons, five hydrogens, and three hydroxyl groups while fatty acids have a long chain of hydrocarbons to which a carboxyl group is attached, hence the name fatty acid. The number of carbons in the fatty acid may range from 4 to 36. Most common are those containing 12 to 18 carbons. Observe that in a fat molecule, the fatty acids are attached to each of the three carbons of the glycerol molecule with an ester bond through an oxygen atom. Triglycerides is formed by the joining of three fatty acids to a glycerol backbone in a dehydration reaction. Three molecules of water are released in the process. The three fatty acids in the triglycerides may be similar or dissimilar, and that depends on their origin or source. Fatty acids may be saturated or unsaturated. What is the difference between saturated and unsaturated fats? In a fatty acid chain, it is saturated if there are only single bonds between neighboring carbons in the hydrocarbon chain. Example of saturated fatty acid is stearic acid. It is saturated with hydrogen. While in unsaturated fatty acid, the hydrocarbon chain contains a double bond. Oleic acid is an example of an unsaturated fatty acid. Most unsaturated fats are liquid at room temperature and are called oils. If there is one double band in the molecule, then it's known as monounsaturated fat. Example of it is olive oil. And if there is more than one double bond, then it's known as polyunsaturated fat. Example of it is canola oil. Common examples of saturated and an unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fat is generally solid at room temperature. The main dietary sources of saturated fat are fatty meat, lard from animal fats, tallow cheese, butter, cream, coconut oil, palm oil, and cocoa butter. Here are the most common saturated fatty acids in the human diet. Steric acid, which consists of 18 carbon atoms long, one of the most common long chain of fatty acids, found in combined form in natural, animal, and vegetable fats. Steric acid daily uses are soaps, detergents, shaving creams, lotions and moisturizers, paints and coatings, plastics, batteries, and more. 
Next example is palmitic acid, which is a 16 carbon atoms long, usually found in animals, plants, and microorganisms. Palmitic acid is found naturally in palm oil, as well as in butter, cheese, milk, and meat. We also have myristic acid, which is 14 carbon atoms long, which is found naturally in palm oil, coconut oil, and butter fat. Lauric acid, which is a 12 carbon atoms long, found in many vegetable fats, particularly in coconut and palm kernel oils. It is used as food vegetable shortening and in making soap and shampoos. Capric acid is also known as decanoic acid or disilic acid, is a 10 carbon atoms long, usually found naturally in the coconut and palm kernel oils, as well as the milk of various mammals. Caprylic acid is 8 carbon atoms long, one of the three fatty acids found in coconut oil. Next is caproic acid, a 6 carbon atoms long, found naturally in various animal fats and oil. It can be used directly as feed additives, antimicrobials, and plant growth promoters. It can also be used as precursors to various commodities including lubricants, fragrances, paint additives, and pharmaceuticals. Examples of unsaturated fats. Unsaturated fat is generally liquid at room temperature and are called oils. Example is the monosaturated fats, which means there is one double bond in the molecule. Monosaturated fats are commonly found high concentrations in olive, peanut, canola oils, avocados, nuts such as almonds, hazelnuts, and pecans, seeds such as pumpkin and sesame seeds. Another example is polyunsaturated fats, means there is more than one double bond in the molecule. Good source of these are sunflower, corn, soybean, and flaxseed oils. Walnuts, most of these foods contain omega-3 fatty acids, which is important to have a good health. Next type of lipids is wax or waxes. Waxes are made up of long fatty acid chains, esterified to long chain alcohols. Because of the hydrophobic nature of waxes, they prevent water from sticking on the surface. Some of the common uses of waxes are covers the feathers of some aquatic birds or fur of some animals, and the leaf surfaces of some plants. Another type of lipids is phospholipids which is a molecule with two fatty acids and a modified phosphate group attached to a glycerol backbone. A phospholipid is an amphiphatic molecule, meaning it has a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic part. The fatty acid chains are hydrophobic and cannot interact with water, whereas the phosphate-containing group is hydrophilic and interacts with water. Phospholipids are major constituents of the plasma membrane, which is the outermost layer of animal cells. The plasma membrane protects the organelles and facilitates the movement in and out of a cell. Unlike other types of lipids, steroids have a fused ring structure. All steroids have four linked carbon rings, have a short tail like in cholesterol, and many steroids also have the hydroxyl functional group which puts them in the alcohol classification. Most steroids do not resemble the other lipids, but like others, they are also hydrophobic and insoluble in water. Cholesterol is the most common steroid. Cholesterol is mainly synthesized in the liver. Although cholesterol is often spoken of in negative terms by other people, it is necessary for proper functioning of the body. Some uses of cholesterol are the following. It is the precursor to many steroid hormones such as testosterone and estradiol, which are secreted by the gonads and endocrine glands. It is also the precursor to vitamin D. Cholesterol is also the precursor of bile salts, 
which helps in the emulsification of fats and their subsequent absorption by cells. It is a component of the plasma membrane of animal cells, which is found within the phospholipid bilayer. Lipids perform many different functions in a cell. Cells store energy for long-term use in the form of fats. Lipids also provide insulation from the environment for plants and animals. Lipids are also the building blocks of many hormones, an important constituent of all cellular activities. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mamar Soriano. See you in the next lesson.